man doesn't come to a situation like this unless he's earned it. Or so I'm told. They think that this is suffering. They think that this is pain. This I can endure. This is the type of place that can break a lesser man. Men who are clinging to something worth missing, worth hurting for. They haven't learned the more you lose, the less you have to care. I've lost. And now I have no reason to care about this place or what it's doing to me. On your feet. Hands. Open six. Turn. They call this the last dash. When the warden calls your name, it's the last time anyone sees your face. Your entire existence is dashed from the record. They call that justice. They call me the Causeway Killer. But my name is Max Sullivan Heath. And I'm about to get my revenge. It's amazing, isn't it? The way the guys at the press can just take a story and run with it. Oh, I couldn't put together more than a handful of words about you. But them, no way. They give you the whole front page. Heck, if it were up to me, it'd be simple. Man murders four women, goes to jail. The end. So how is it down there anyway? Oh, I assume it gets pretty cold at night. I bet you're wondering why I dragged you all the way up here. Hmm? Well, it's no mystery that you're the most notorious criminal we've... Oh, forgive me. Let me get those off you. Where are my manners? As I was saying, it's not every day we have someone of your notoriety staying with us. So I thought I'd just sit down with you and have a little chat. Tell me about yourself. I 
I get the feeling you don't like me very much. I don't. Well, that's fine by me. I got plenty of friends. But you mistook my kindness. I don't need your friendship. I'm here to offer you free will. Freedom to choose. Well, think about it. I haven't forced you to do anything since you got here. You unshackled yourself. You could have taken my life already if you wanted to. A unique man, indeed. You see, Mr. Heath, I knew the moment I heard about your crimes that you were different. You weren't really a killer. Really? Then what am I? You're a ghost. Is that so? Interesting. Very. You see, a ghost is simply a troubled soul who hasn't let the past be the past. Their pain and anguish of unfinished business is what keeps them wandering through the streets, looking for comfort from an unquenchable hurt. That's where you're wrong. I don't hurt. I have no reason Annie to... Annie Sullivan, age 22, brown hair, brown eyes, 120 pounds, 5 foot 9 inches tall. Known aliases Annie Markham, Anne Hanover, and least known of them all, Annie Sullivan Heath. No known next of kin. Found bound and tied to a tree on a deserted road between here and Jameson Flats, right off the causeway. Five gunshot wounds to the chest, one to the head. Wait! Now, I have watched as the papers have painted a picture of you telling the story of some crazed lunatic with insatiable need for killing women. But I know the truth. I know who really killed your sister. As do you. Lucy Brown. Lottie Lania. Suki Tawdry. Annie Sullivan. All murdered within one year's time. All known working girls, but more than that, girls who worked for Louis Miller. And Mr. Heath, I know losing your sister to an animal like that. You know nothing! I know many things, Mr. Heath. I know Jenny Diver was next. I know you had plans for Johnny Anthony. I know you had bigger plans for Louis himself. And I also know what it feels like to lose someone to that animal. Please. Now, as you're probably aware, Mr. Heath, most of the men who make the last dash to my office are never seen again. Their face, their history is simply dashed from the record. Like them, you will also vanish. But unlike them, you're already a ghost. This case represents freedom. Yours for the taking. Inside it you'll find a fresh change of clothes, new identification cards, $200 cash, and this. A one-way bus ticket out of town. You can live out your days somewhere far from here, where the weather's warm and all the memories of this godforsaken dump cease to exist. Or you could choose this case represents an entirely different kind of freedom. A freedom to finish what you started. Inside it you'll find all the unsavory tools needed to complete your revenge. Maybe get rid of that pain you've been carrying around with you. Inside it you'll find everything, including a genuine Dockland police uniform so that you may leave this building undetected, complete with standard issue officer's badge. So you see, Mr. Heath, free will. Now you have a 24 hour start before I'm sure the police will begin their search for you. I suggest you get a move on. As for me, I have much more work to attend to. Many more of Mr. Miller's associates will be making the last dash to my office today.